the most dangerous bugs in the world. We mostly fear bugs when out for a hike or in public locations, but many people forget that these critters can be found lurking in the comfort of our homes. Most of these bugs are harmless. However, some of these can take down a human with just a single sting. Hey guys, welcome back to Animal Kingdom, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the world's most dangerous bugs or insects. Sit back in the comfort of your couches and get ready for a spooky crawler ride. From spiders to deadly mosquitoes near are the most dangerous bugs in the world. Hemiptera, kissing bugs. The Hemiptera classification is wide and varied, including all of the so-called true bugs. Most have distinctive sucking mouth parts that resemble tubes. Most, in fact, feed on plant sap in one form or another, but a few, such as the kissing bug, feed on blood of larger animals. The bug can transmit Chagas disease, and it is described in Wiki as follows. The symptoms of Chagas disease vary over the course of the infection. In the early, acute stage symptoms are mild and are usually no more than local swelling at the site of infection. As the disease progresses, over as much as 20 years, serious chronic symptoms appear, such as heart disease and malformation of the intestines. If untreated, the chronic disease is often fatal. Current drug treatments for this disease are generally unsatisfactory, with the available drugs being highly toxic and often ineffective, particularly in the chronic stage of the disease. Giant Silkworm Caterpillar This creepy-looking caterpillar resides in South America and is responsible for several deaths each year. The giant silkworm caterpillar has tiny bristles that release a potent toxin that is poisonous when ingested. It has been called the assassin caterpillar or killer caterpillar, but it is just the larva of a giant silkworm moth. Linomia bliquid. The venom from this insect can cause gangrene-like symptoms throughout the body, the leakage of blood into the brain, and even death. The toxins, strong anti-clotting agents will prevent you from stopping the bleeding and ultimately cause death. There have been over 500 confirmed deaths caused by the giant silkworm caterpillar. Giant Japanese or Asian Hornet This massive hornet can achieve lengths of 3 inches fully grown and has been known in numbers of only 20 or 30 to decimate an entire hive of honeybees. The sting can be lethal not just by allergic reactions, but also due to its many toxins. Here are four interesting things about its sting. A. Its sting has a higher concentration of the pain-causing chemical called acetylcholine than any other stinging insect. B. An enzyme in its venom can dissolve human tissue. C. Containing at least eight distinctly different chemicals, the venom itself produces one such that actually attracts others of its kind to the victim. D. Like all other hornets, it can sting repeatedly Siafu African ants. Next, we have the African ant. 20 million ants strong, one single colony can ravage the African countryside, obliterating everything in their path. When food shortages present themselves, the colony as a whole will march through whatever happens to be in its path in order to acquire sustenance. Though not difficult to avoid, the very young or elderly can find themselves victims of asphyxiation and 20-50 die each year, as well as thousands of dollars in foodstuffs damage yearly. Wasps. Next, we have the wasp. These, including the yellow jackets and hornets within the class, vary in that they are relatively social, generally terrestrial, and almost every subspecies has a specific parasite or pest that it preys upon exclusively. The wasp do not necessarily seek out humans to sting unless territories are being threatened. It is the oft allergic sting that does the most damage. Many people go into anaphylactic shock and die because of a single wasp sting. Locusts. Though not known for killing humans directly, this subfamily of the grasshopper is a relentless plant-consuming machine. In the Bible, during the plagues of Egypt, the locusts were the eighth, wreaking havoc on farmland and crops. Locusts strip their earth thousands of acres of cropland every year and in very little time, since each swarm can consist of several thousand insects. As a result, they can indirectly contribute to starvation. The recent locust outbreak in Asia and Africa just at the beginning of the pandemic threatened to do more damage than that already was ravaging the globe. Tsetse fly, another carrier of the deadly sleeping sickness. The tsetse fly feeds on the blood of vertebrates. They spread the disease, trypanosomiasis, in humans by biting their victim and passing it through their mouth parts. Living in Africa, the death toll 
is that much more immense killing 250 to 300,000 victims per year. Bees? Now not many people may realize this, but bees that we depend on for our sweet, sweet honey can also be quite deadly thanks largely to the introduction of the Africanized honeybee. The death toll has taken a sharp upturn over the past 15 years. Normal solitary bees are not known to sting humans for the sheer need to do so, and even so, they die once the deed is done. However, many people the world over are seriously allergic to bee stings and can experience anaphylactic shock causing death. But unlike those standard bees, Africanized bees or killer bees will attack with the slightest provocation in large numbers swarming over the victims. The death toll per year is in the thousands. Fleas, not just the annoying little bites you receive as one of the lovely perks of owning a pet, no, Fleas are directly responsible for the spread of the bubonic plague from their rat host to humans carrying Yersinia pestis. Feeding on the blood of warm-blooded vertebrates, fleas can infest an animal or area rather quickly. If bitten, the wound swells into a pustule and can cause allergic reactions. But thanks to the spread of the plague killing millions, the flea can be a terrible pest. Female Anopheles Mosquito and we come to perhaps the deadliest insect in the world ever mosquitoes are a terrible irritant and because they feed on blood can drive a person mad just by being outside in the right conditions eggs get laid and grow in stagnant water and millions can hatch from one spot but the worst aspect of the mosquito is that it's a carrier for blood-borne diseases specifically malaria still numbering in the hundreds of million cases per year malaria is responsible for more deaths than every other insect combined. Thanks for watching.